All right, everybody, welcome back. You know what time it is. It's time for some more news. Hey, let's get that news, bruh. All right, all right. First story. Solana Network faces degraded performance for the second time this week. Yeah, yeah. Solana, you know, I mean, what you thought was going to happen? And, and there's a lot to be said about this, but let's just deal with this first. As more and more people begin to use the technology, they're coming into the space, they're using the network and the system. It's going to, during that time, as people increase on the network, it's going to begin to slow the network. Now, this is bad, but this is great. It's actually the best news ever. So what's bad about it is if you're moving Solana and you're moving it now versus when you used to move it, you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, it's just what's going on. It used to be instantaneously and now it's like ah what's going on right that's bad news but it's not it's great news because what this says is you're going to need all types of blockchains and networks to exist what does that mean that means you have the potential to get into these these currencies because solana is a gas currency okay it's you, you use to pay the toll. So it's a currency. It's like a toll currency. So there will need to be more as there are more. So that means inside this space, if you missed the Solana come up, right? When it was dirt cheap to where it is now, it's, it's way more times you're gonna see this particular thing happen because you're gonna need more of these chains for people to use just imagine a billion people trying to use five or six different chains forget about it not gonna happen okay a billion people use a thousand chains making more sense i'm getting it well ten thousand chains yeah yeah maybe twenty thousand different chains you see what i'm saying here in order to keep stuff running smooth you're going to need to have chains to do that. So let's just think about this. Let's break it down one more time. Let's say, okay, 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 okay. I'm in, uh, let put me in Argentina. All right, let's say I'm in Argentina. And Argentina, for some, some people in Argentina come up with currencies to do the same thing Solana does. And, you know, it's just the equivalent of Solana, but it's called Bloki or Blue Mon or I don't know, something crazy, right? So they cre create this and it's the talk of Argentina. And then Argentinians begin to use that like here in the United States, we use Solana. So then as more Argentinians begin to learn about it and use it, it becomes slow like Solana. So then other people start creating networks too. So by this time in Argentina, you might have 5, 10, 15 different networks or chains that people are using. All right. Now, all these things can be reached on the blockchain or on exchanges, excuse me, on exchanges. And there's nothing to stop you from gaining access to these currencies. OK, I can be in in the United States and use an Argentinian currency uh, to, to, to pay for gas, right? Use a blockchain over there because there's nothing to stop me from doing that. If it's faster, I'll use it, okay? So this is what makes Solana being slow again, great. It's a door of opportunity, okay? That doesn't mean the value of Solana is gonna go down, no. You got tried and true people that love using their Solana and they're gonna use it and they're always gonna use it. You got new people that's gonna come on and use Solana. But what this does is it allows more people to create things similar, if not better, if not a little bit off, but it, it's, it, it's needed, it's necessary. So keep your eyes open for more chains like Solana to come into existence more chains like uh poly polymatic you know stuff like that because these things cardano cardano's going to do some amazing things once they get their stuff right so just keep keep your eyes open this is actually great news i got long-winded let's find another article all right we got another article right here internet me partners with cubics to develop a pvp tower defense play uh play to earn game now again we are so still in the beginning phases of this but it's still nonetheless great cubix has partnered with uh, 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 a game to essentially start 
getting its asset, excuse me, its, its coin out there. It's a, it, cause you're getting paid, right? So you're going to get paid in these coins. I would only assume making an ass of myself, but we'll get to the bottom of that when we get to the bottom of that or when we get to that point. So the point is as games are being created, they're being created to run on blockchain so people can move currency back and forth through that game or, or right through that game. And then NFTs will also play a part of this. And I know in the community, the gaming community, everybody's like, oh my God, NFTs are so disgusting. It's horrible. I'll get it away, get it away. But the things that you understand about NFTs are nothing. You really don't understand anything about NFTs. And that's just me saying when you think it's just a piece of artwork, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. So get get more uh, acquainted to NFTs. And I'm, I'm dealing really with the gaming space. Get more acquainted with NFTs and see the possibilities of it. Because like I said many videos before, if you buy a, a weapon skin, um with a uh, as a, a nft weapon skin that you're going to use in the game and you paid in a digital currency for it that then there means when you're ready to sell it you can sell that uh skin and this is wonderful because when you have seasonal events in games like quote unquote pvp games they have seasons they have seasonal skins that you can win or like uh, uh what do they call them uh they do these things in video game battle passes so they have battle passes and if you play the battle pass or you spend money for the battle pass you're 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 you can receive rewards that the common person isn't going to receive that doesn't have the battle pass which means that after that season goes and that skin goes with that season you'll never get it again and the only way you can get it then is because of an nft and this is where all the sense is made and where all the money is going to be made and this is why you do want nfts in the video game space you just don't know it yet and i shared a little bit of insight on that and i hope it helped you i hope it did but let's find another article and keep this moving all right we got one here dapper labs becomes the first nft company to register to lobby with the united states government you suck i'm just gonna point my finger and say no 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 wait a minute wait a minute you suck buddy what do you mean you're gonna lobby with the u.s okay we know that the united states has lobbying which happens when people pay to get certain things passed through so that they can do the things that they want to do what are you saying that you're now working with the united states lobby oh my god that's just look this is stuff that we don't need to ever happen because this will begin to destroy things and this can be bad for a lot of people so oh my goodness that's ugly. That's bad news. Point the finger like, uh, don't don't invest with anything coming through Dapper Labs because they're they're You know, we don't need that. Next article. New York City mayor getting paid in Bitcoin suggests buying the dip. He said y'all should probably buy the dip. I ain't no financial advisor. No, 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 no. And this ain't no financial advice. But I'm telling you right now, I get paid in the Bitcoins. I'm just getting paid in the Bitcoins. And I'm telling you right now, you might want to buy the dip. Buy the dip, buy the dip. Yo, so, uh, hey man. You know, this person must be a believer in Bitcoin because they telling you to buy the dip. Mm, I don't know. Now we got one here. Binance buys the dip, adding 43,000 Bitcoin to its wallet. Hey, man, look at this right here. Binance is buying the dip. The New York City mayor, he's like, yo, I'm getting paid in Bitcoin. I'm telling you, you might want to buy the dip. Binance is over here buying the dip. This is crazy. Look, hey, oh, man, money's going to cut. Look, man, I'm telling you right now, people are buying the dip. All right. Don't be afraid when you see red in the markets. Go ahead and do some do some buying. Convert that money over into some currency that's going to be a value. Just do it. Don't be scared because guess what? The businesses and corporations and the big money's doing that. They ain't nobody's fool. They know what they doing. They going to grow their currency value. Y'all just sitting there watching like, oh, it's red. I don't know. I need to get out now. Y'all be that be them people while the other people ain't so do what you want to do with that but check it out them all the stories i got for today i hope y'all enjoyed it you can hit that like button you can subscribe to the channel and you can you can go ahead and hit that bell for the notifications because you do like when i get y'all the news because it's like hey he took the time to bring us the news because we really didn't want to read about it but but you know we appreciate them all right so go ahead do them things and let's keep it moving